So, Bernadette, how are you today? I'm really tired this week, and I also feel really weak. Wait, you just said the same word twice. Yes, well, one means weak or semana in Spanish, and the second one means lacking in strength or débil in Spanish. Right, homophones. Same sound, different meanings. And different spellings. Welcome back to Dynamic English. Today, Bernadette and I will be showing you some commonly used homophones. Homophones are words with different spellings and meanings, yet they sound exactly the same. A good way to relate the sound of these words is to read them and pay attention to the context. Today, we are going to show you some examples, as well as the correct usage, spelling, and pronunciation. But before we jump into that, be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and tell everyone to subscribe. Okay, so here are some examples of uh, homophones. That's one. One what? A homophone. Some, algunos, and some, sumar o totalizar. Okay, you're right. So, sit back, relax, take a break. Ah, that's another one. Break and break. One is quebrar o descansar, while the other is frenar o freno. Okay, you're correct. But can you stop interrupting me so that we can tell some of the viewers our favorite homophones? Let me guess. Our and our? In Spanish, this is nuestros and la hora. Exactly. Stay tuned for more examples. Okay, just to recap some of the homophones we've already featured. Weak and weak, some and some, break and break, hour and hour. Now, back to the video. The next word is so, and it can be used in many different ways. Translated into Spanish, it can be entonces, así, tan, or tanto. The next homophone is so, or in Spanish, coser. I need to sew the button on the shirt. Plain. This is a plain sheet of paper, meaning it's blank. I made a plane, or in Spanish, avión. Flower. Wall purple is my favorite color. I also really like pink flowers, or in Spanish, flor. Flour. When I cook, I cook with a lot of flour. And then there is two, two, and two. The first two can be para or al in Spanish to indicate destination, or two, which is demasiado, too much of something, or there is three, the number two. The next homophone I'm gonna tell you about is by, by, and by. By, B-Y, in Spanish, is por or al lado de. By, B-U-Y, is the verb comprar. And by, B-Y-E, as in goodbye. Stair. I'm sitting on the stair. Or, in Espanol, escolares. Don't stare at me. Oh, sorry. Stare, to look at someone for a long time. Or, in Spanish, mirar fijamente. At summer festivals, I like to spread peace. Or, in Espanol, paz. Peace, as in a piece of cake. Or, in Spanish, pedazo. Mm. Special delivery for Bernadette. Hey, I've got some mail from back home. Or, in Espanol, correo. Mail. I am a male, so I use the men's room. Wrap. I need to wrap my gift. Or in Espanol, envolver. Wrap. Welcome to Dynamic. There's no need to panic. Your teacher is here, so don't even fear. Hey guys, just a quick one. You might not know we're not just a YouTube channel, but we're a company based in Santiago with over 65 native teachers. We can conduct classes from your home, from your office, and even online. So check us out at www.dynamicenglish.cl. Bear. This is my teddy bear. Or in Spanish, oso. Bear. Or in Spanish, desnudo. I need a shirt. I feel really bare. Board. Or in Spanish, pizarra or tablero. <sighs> Where is Bernadette? I'm so bored. Sent. I've just sent an email. Or, in Spanish, enviado. 
What is that wonderful scent? Ah, wait, it's me. Scent, or olor in Spanish. Blue. Even though purple is my favorite color, I still like the color blue. Blue. I blew out the fire, or in Spanish, sople. It is so hot outside, I think I might die. Or in Spanish, morir. Die. My hair color is fading, so I need to dye my hair. Or in Spanish, teñir. Bernie, you're so pretty. What's your secret? Well, both of my parents are models, so it must be good genes. I know, there's nothing like a great pair of jeans. These jeans make my butt look great. Wear. I like to wear flowers in my hair. Or in Spanish, ponerse, vestir, or usar. Where? Where, where are my keys? Ah, here. Where? Donde? Okay, Jesse, today was a great video, and it's always great working with you. You know what? That's actually another homophone. Great and too great, or rayar in Spanish. Okay, well, all I'm saying is that we accomplished a great feat teaching everyone about homophones today. That's another one. You say great feat, I have great feet. Okay, I think that's all about what we have time for today. So, if you want daily vocabulary and English lessons, visit our Instagram page. And if you like the content of this video, be sure to leave us a comment below with any questions you might have about homophones or any ideas you want to see in future videos. Wrap. Welcome to Dynamics. No need to panic. Your teacher is here, so don't even fear. Don't stare at me. Oh, I think maybe we should have like... <laughs>